Hello everyone, this is part 3 of the ANSYS uh, Fluent tutorial for Air Solar Burner. In part 2, we created this LPG burner. Now we will duplicate this project. So, in this video, we will have LPG burner with species uh, transport combustion model. Next video, we will have with the non premixed uh, PDF combustion model. When duplicating, you save uh, much time because you, you don't have to do the geometry, the meshing, everything is already done there. Now the uh, fluent is already opened here. We check the scale. In case you have a mistake, uh, you input in meter instead of millimeter or something. Check the volume. You, uh, make sure you don't have any negative volumes. Usually, I uh, like to define the pressure units in uh, atmosphere instead of Pascal because the fuel injector usually has high pressure. Okay, now we choose atmosphere. For models, we activate first the energy equation. Check. Okay. Then viscosity. Uh, I highly recommend this renal stress model for high turbulence. It will give you excellent prediction of the turbulence flow. But here for simplicity, we'll choose K epsilon instead. It is good enough model for turbulence with two equations. Uh, good enough for our case. Okay, now we go to the, again, uh, in case you are using cold flow but you care too much about the heating effect on viscosity you might use the density based solvent not the pressure based solvent okay for uh, combustion species is off now we activate the species transport model next will be the non premix model okay volumetric you have here from the database we choose propane air mixture for the fuel we can actually choose the species individually but this is much easier we have four models laminar intermediate and ad or the uh, turbulent for our case we choose the ad because uh, we have higher renals above 4000 uh, in case you choose the wrong model you might end up with the combustion shutdown apply okay okay now for the materials we just make sure the uh, propane air uh, the database is there you have all the properties you can change it if you want for the boundary condition air fuel inlet default is velocity inlet we'll change it to mass flow inlet and we choose the flow rate is around point or five kilogram per second atmospheric pressure normal to boundaries temperature usually it elevates a little bit after the blower 350 kelvin then species uh, it is air so it is in mass not more so 23 percent oxygen okay now for the fuel inlet, we change it also to mass flow inlet. The flow rate is 0 0.003. Air fuel ratio is about 17, a bit lean. Fuel uh, pressure is about two bar here. Normal to boundary. Okay, for temperature, it is the same, 300 cold flow. Then we have the species. You have to put the fuel one means 100% either uh, mass or mole, doesn't matter. Outer wall, by right, you have to specify how much heat loss is, uh, negative value, but here we, we will not do that. Then the out pressure outlet. Okay, here we can specify the backflow temperature. We expect around 1000 Kelvin backflow. Then species, you have to calculate from the chemical equilibrium. The carbon dioxide, it will be about 16.9%. You have to write the equations and calculate how much percent you will have there. Okay. 
finish the boundary conditions for uh, methods uh, if you have very complicated geometry you might want to start with first order equations then after 50 or 100 iteration you you uh, increase to second order or third order so you don't get errors also you can put some relaxation factors uh, so we initialize standard initialization we put the temperature 2500 kelvin for startup ignition initialize we can also patch temperature at uh, you click the fluid patch at 2500 kelvin so it doesn't shut down during the startup process patch okay now we can run the calculation uh, we can set here 300 iterations it will take some time to calculate because the geometry is a bit complicated okay we can see here the continuity lines the general continuity is a white one uh, then the old functions energy viscosity continuity lines you have there if the continuity line is going uh, downwards this is a good thing it is converging if it is go upwards it's not a good thing it is diverging means the difference between results between one iteration and another become either smaller converging or bigger diversion if it goes diverting too much it might shut down the uh, solvent and give you an uh, error message it should by right go smaller and smaller in a conversion uh, to milli scale okay now we can see the results first viscosity first uh, uh, velocity uh, we have 3d so we don't have uh, a plane section so we create one in xy so we just put the z axis all zero values and we call it x y x y plane okay create so we choose the x y display okay now you can see the velocity profile here and the swirling motion you have to zoom in if you want to go in the details see the high velocity uh, zones and the low velocity zones you can zoom in a little bit to see the swirler okay we can put the scale for the vectors up to 10 so you can see the vector direction and once you put more scale the vector head become larger depends on the magnitude of the velocity Okay, 50 scale yeah, you can see the high velocity at the swirler and the, at the injector now we can go to the contours set up temperature uh, total temperature then we can choose X Y again fill and display okay you can see the temperature here uh, called then the heat is almost at the exit it's apparently it's not complete combustion you have flame shooting out of the burner the length might be uh, not uh, adequate or the just the flow rate is quite too much it's about 120 plus kilowatt thermal we can also see here what are other options we can see the velocity in contours uh, it is almost similar to that one uh, of vectors you have the highest velocity the turbulent flow where the high temperature is there because we choose the turbulent eddy uh, model we can see the species here we don't have co unfortunately here in the species so we cannot predict how much co emission carbon monoxide emission that will give us a glance on how complete is our combustion it is not complete obviously we have high co here stay tuned for part four uh, we'll simulate uh, non-premix non combustion model with pdf 
uh, for LPG. Thank you.